In this video, we shall be looking at how to solve limit of a function using L'Hopital's rule. This L'Hopital's rule is all about differentiation. If you have the knowledge of differentiation, it will be easy for you to understand. But if you have zero knowledge, you might find it challenging. But don't be worried. We will treat differentiation later. Just follow this channel for more video. The rule said, if you have a limit as x tends to any number, let's say y, and here is f of x, and this is g of x, the rule said we should differentiate both the numerator and the denominator. That is. This is f of x prime divided by g of x prime. Taking this example, we have limit as x approaches 1 of x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Based on what we know before, we have to solve this using direct substitution, but we have to split this part, which is the difference of two square. We have the limit of x minus 1 and x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. x tends to 1. And this will cancel this. We are left with limit x plus 1. So if we decide to substitute 1 into this, we have 1 plus 1, which will give me 2. But L'Hopital's rule said we can differentiate both the numerator and denominator. The differentiation of x squared minus 1 as d dx will give me 2x and the differentiation of d dx x minus 1 if I differentiate this it will give me 1 so now the limit as x tends to 1, 2x divided by 1, this is equal to, if you, if we plug in our 1, then we have that 2 multiplied by 1, divided by 1, will give me 2. You see the answer, they are all the same. If we have the limit as x tends to 2 lin x divided by x using L'Hopital's rule to solve this we have to differentiate both the numerator and denominator so differentiation of lin x will give me 1 over x and the differentiation of x will give me 1. Therefore, we have that the lean, lean x tends to 2 of 1 divided by x divided by 1. The same thing as lean x tends to 2 1 over x and this is equal to 1 divided by 2 which is our limit. Then if we have this example, uh, the, this question, the limit as h tends to 0 of 4 plus h divided by h. To solve this using L'Hopital's rule, we have to differentiate 
then d dx h is one but the differentiation of d dx the square root of 4 plus h we are going to use chain rule function of a function to differentiate this one if we said let u be 4 plus h then we can say that du dh is equal to differentiation of a constant will be zero and the differentiation of h is one then the y we can say that our y is let's say square root of four plus h which is same thing as u raised to power half so now we can differentiate y dy du is equal to half u half minus one and this will give me half u power minus half that means our dy dh is equal to du dh multiplied by dy du and this will give me 1 multiplied by 2u power minus half so but we already know that u is 4 plus h and this is equal to 1 multiplied by this will give me okay the same expression that is half u power half and this same thing as 1 divided by 2u power half and this is equal to 1 divided by 2 square root of 4 plus h power half Therefore, the limit as h approaches 0 of square root 4 plus h divided by h is same thing as the limit. We've gotten the differentiation of this. The differentiation of this to be this expression, which is 1 divided by 2 raised to the power 4 plus h and the differentiation of h to be 1 so you can say that as the limit for h tends to 0 is 1 divided by 2 into 4 plus h so if we substitute h to be 0 in this expression we have 1 divided by this is 2 into square root of 4 plus 0 then this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of 4 will give me 2 and this is equal to 1 over 4 and this is our answer what if we have limit as x tends to zero or sine three x divided by sine two x using the L'Hopital's rule we have that the the x the sine three x we use 
function of a function as well to differentiate this we assume if y is equal to sine 3x we said let u be 3x so we can say that the u dx will give me 3 therefore i have that y now is equal to sine u then dy du will give me sine differentiation of uh, sine u will give me cos u and we already know our u to be 3x this is cos 3x therefore the chain rule for dy dx dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx and this is equal to sine cos 3x multiplied by 3 and this is equal to 3 cos 3x for sine 2x, you have that d sine 2x divided by d sine 2x dx. And this is using the function of a function as well. If we assume y to be sine 2x, we can say that let u be 2x. Then on du, d, du dx will give me 2 and y now will be sine sine u so dy dx differentiation of this will give me cos u and we know that our u is 2x which is cos 2x therefore dy dx is equal to dy this is du, sorry. dy dx is, is divided by du. This is dy du multiplied by du dx. And this is equal to cos 2x multiplied by 2. And this will give me 2 cos 2x. This implies that the limit as x approaches 0, sine 3x divided by sine 2x. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of. We've differentiated this sine 3x and we got 3 cos 3x. And we've differentiated sine 2x as well to be 2 cos 2x. So the limit of this, if we plug in our 0, we have 3 cos 0 divided by 2 cos 0. And then cos 0 is 1. And this is 1. And our final answer will be 3 divided by 2. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at science.elianacademy.gmail.com. Thank you.